My name is Corey Fuchs. I presently am the president and owner of Media Job Search Canada. My name is Suzanne Carpenter. I'm the general manager of Chorus Radio Toronto and Hamilton. My name is Mike Ben Dixon. I am the brand director for News Talk 1010. My name is Rudy Blair. I'm the music reporter and entertainment reporter for 680 News. I went to Humber College back in 1989 to 91. Uh, 1978, I believe. 1985. I do not recall the date that I graduated. Suzanne, I'm so happy for her to get this award because no one is more deserving that I could think. Amazing. Honestly, what uh, she's accomplished over the years. Suzanne uh, Carpenter being inducted into the Hall of Fame, it's great. Uh, she now runs six radio stations here in Toronto and uh, Hamilton combined. She's an excellent GM. What I like about Suzanne is the fact that, you know, she doesn't micromanage. She actually lets people do their stuff. The one big thing I can say about her is that she's personable. She actually encourages the people that work for her and empowers them. She cares about everyone, which is even more important. She's not just some person in the office who sits behind her desk and lets everyone run about and has no idea who you are or what you do. She has uh, overcome a lot of adversity in her time. I don't want to play the gender card, but women when she started, and even when I started in the 90s, had a very challenging time in the radio industry. I'm happy to hear that she is the recipient this year of the Humber Award. So congratulations, Suzanne. Way to go. And congratulations for getting inducted into the Humber Radio Hall of Fame. It's been your pleasure for 10 years of me working for you, and you're working for me, and uh, many, many more years. You could have knocked me over with a feather when, when this was suggested that, that I should be inducted. It's certainly a surprise. It's a shock. Uh, it's really not necessary, it's unexpected. When I got the letter, I'm going, oh, what have I done for the industry? It's something I would never really expected, but at the same time, deep down, it's something I always kind of wanted. I think back to those days when I was in the, the pipe playing euchre, and I think, really? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> that makes me feel proud that I took the initiative way back in 99 to start the company. The fact of knowing that my last name or first name too, is going to be somewhere in an area where it's considered that word respect and honor and knowing that it's their last name that's up there. To me, if anything, more than honoring me, to me, that's my way of honoring my family. Mike, congratulations, you're on the Wall of Fame. Congratulations, Mike. Mike, uh, congratulations on being in the Humber Radio Hall of Fame. We wonder whether or not we're gonna be able to see ourselves or anybody we know uh, on there, and I'm glad to say that you're the first person that I know uh, personally uh, that's gonna be up on that Wall of Fame. And hopefully, with your help, I'll be in the Radio Humber Hall of Fame in a few years too. It's a great honor, and I know you definitely deserve it. Of course, you would be in this position. It just only makes sense. You've been a massive influence to me. He's an amazing leader. He's somebody that I aspire and look up to. I'd like to say on behalf of everyone at Astro Radio, congratulations, Mike. You deserve it. You're brilliant. And uh, Mike Bullard may have other things to say about that, but uh, we're all extremely proud of you. When I came to the program, one of the things I was most jazzed about was the fact that I could take what I was learning and apply it. It taught me what radio was all about. I couldn't have done what I do now if it wasn't for there. It gave me a whole new sense of accomplishment and confidence in my own ability. Being able to learn all the, the terminology and the lingo and things like that that go into being at a radio station. At Humber, they encouraged you to be creative, to think out of the box, because when you can stand out, then you're going to get attention. I really did grow as a person in the two years that I was in the program. You are unique and you are an individual. You stand out. There are not a lot of people, if anybody, can do what you can do. And you know, that's probably one of the highest compliments I've ever gotten. And I learned all that from being at Humber College. You are being honored by Humber College, and that is a huge, huge honor. Indeed. I don't have it. Rudy, couldn't be a, a better person to induct into the Humber Hall of Fame. Rudy Blair is a multi-talented guy. He's now an established figure in the music industry. Uh, people love him. They love his style of interviewing. There have been many times when he's interviewed celebrities where they'll say, wow, that was one of the best interviews 
uh, I've ever had done. When you get to this point in the industry like Rudy has, you also get special honors like the Humber Honor and of course big honors like the uh, Beavis and Butthead Toilet Paper. Uh, 680 News has won the uh, Station of the Year Award from the Canadian Music Awards for the last eight years in a row and the main reason for that uh, unquestionably is because uh, of Rudy Bear. I'm so glad that you are ready for your close-up. Take five, my friend. You deserve it. Congratulations, Rudy. You're a great guy. Uh, well deserved. Uh, nobody deserves it better more than you, bud. From the bottom of where my heart should be, I say congratulations to you. I'll be serious. Well Rudy. deserved. Rudy, you are amazing. Memorable experiences. There, there are a number of them. Maybe one on one with the teachers and guest speakers from the industry, from the radio industry. And I remember being so impressed by these people uh, and listening to what they had to say. Uh, spending time with such a, a group of people that were so passionate about the business, so passionate about radio. I do remember uh, playing euchre in the pipe at the time, which was uh, a blast. We used to do that on all of our breaks. And the thing that stuck out for me was my first music edit. I do recall uh, I was working with a, a colleague of mine at, at, uh, at the program and we were producing a, a radio documentary and we decided to produce this documentary about homeless people in Toronto. And I brought in uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller, because it was big back then, and uh, I wanted to edit Billie Jean, that bass line, do 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 So I wanted to edit that together. So, you know, get the reel up and, you know, we got the turntable and we record it. And then I tried to take that beginning and basically repeat it, but making the edit sound like it was clean. And I just couldn't understand how it worked. I mean, the beats were always off. And, and then finally, I got it. It was one of those things that taught me uh, the power of telling a really great story. And if there's anything that I miss about being at Humber College, again, it's learning that creativity and not knowing that you had it in you. And then when it just springs out, you're just like, wow, I didn't know I could do this.